Well, here we are in what is very few left of the Highland Theater in Highland Park, Michigan. It opened in 1915, and in 1967, it was renamed the Paris Theater, and it was actually opened as an adult film center. And then in 1970, it was renamed the Highland Art Theater, and then Wayne County shut it down because reports of, what else would you have in an adult film theater? Prostitution. And it was renamed um, Fancy Pants in the 1980s and was a strip club. So from adult theater, to prostitution to strip club and then um, it was shut down for good the chairs were all in here supposedly until 2011 when straps crackers took them all I'm pretty sure the ceiling was probably still intact then but now as you can see absolutely nothing all the brick is on the floor the sage is still intact for the most part um, you can see where the curtain was but there's not much left at all. It's a very small place compared to um, most of the other theaters we've been into, like the East Town and everything is really small. It's just this one room that you can see. We'll take you out to the front. We climbed in the back. There's a tiny, a tiny little hole you can bend down. But you can see it was wide open from the street. It's definitely not a climber to get into. What you see is what you get, I guess, just this room. The walls are still pretty neat. They haven't been painted on, which is pretty surprising. It's interesting that those two panels are tiles, and they're closed in the distance. And the only thing left is the exhaust van. It's still going. That's probably the, so this project is the projection room. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So this was probably the, the entrance where you go in, but the actual part that goes up to the street is burnt out. That's fire damage. It smells very chemically. Now I know that there was an appliance store at one time either next to it maybe it was in front of it I'm not really sure but there was there's very heavy fire damage here look how cool the posts look that's okay so this is a bathroom and there is some ceiling left sorta of. and a little bit of tile and some furniture <laughs> and there's a hole here which 
must have been the furniture store or appliance store. So it is next to the. F it's empty. And you can see right out to the street right there. Because <laughs> this looks like an entrance more. Yeah. Not sure. Is this another bathroom? Yep. Looks like it. Oh, no. This looks like a storeroom. Huh? Is that like the kitchen where they make food? Could be. Concession area. As you can see, here's actually what we saw from the street. That is the street out front. You can see everything's caved in. It's completely gone. I'm not sure. This is in front of the burnt area. And there's like a high gloss red tile. And the ceiling looks like at one time it was pretty neat. I'm not really sure if this was part of the appliance center or if this is the actual entrance into the theater. It's possible that this is a, a ticket booth. And you would come in right here through the entrance. Um, yep, I'm going to guess yes, because those holes on the ceiling there are probably for all the little light bulbs. Yep, there's one left, actually. So this would have been the main entrance, and then back where it kind of is into the part that's burnt. And right next to us is the part that's completely collapsed. So that's cool. It's got, it was like really red and glossy. For upcoming attractions, yeah. posters. Uh -huh. Oh, the lift's still one of them. Yes, this was definitely burnt pretty badly. Oh, you can see um, one part of a red tile left right there. So it continued all the way through here. And probably actually the ceiling where all those, that was probably where they mudded the tiles on. Those little dots. Oh, there's one of the polka dot walls. <laughs> What do you think of this Highland Theater? This beat is small. It's small. But I'll bet it was cool. I bet that red gloss looked really cool. Oh, parts of it are coming down as we're standing here. <laughs>